Boom! Welcome to another episode of True Vikings in Denmark. How many times in your life can you metal detect around a church from the 12th century? Right over there somewhere. Not many times. And I even picked a gold there, so it's even better a place, a gold piece. Yes, you should check that episode out. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a great spot. We have permissions to all the fields around here. But we're not gonna be here, because no. we have something better. Yeah, we, we will go the, over there. Down there, by the farther end of the field. Once upon a time, a chalice has been found there from the Iron Age. It was full of gold and silver. No, I don't think it was oh. full of gold and silver, but still, but maybe Iron maybe Age. maybe they didn't find the gold and silver. So now we're gonna That's find it. That's true. That. Yeah. that was in the 80s, and since the 80s, that has been virgin nectar land. Exactly. That doesn't make sense because virginity you drink this stuff. Anyway, uh, virgin land over there, and we're gonna pick up the Iron Age silver yeah. treasure. And if. For you who were wondering what we did down here, we were hiding from the wind. So, okay, let's go! Windy, windy today in Denmark, of course. I'm on the way to the chalice sector and I found a nice thimble. Maybe a couple hundred years old. The women would have been here sewing while the men were working the field or maybe worshipping in the church behind me. Well, I'm on the way. I'll find something awesome really soon. Boom! My first coin on this field. It's really windy and you can't see anything on it. But quality coin, probably not that old, I would guess. Coin in the pocket. Some big Viking stuff for real big Vikings. No, guys, it's not Viking, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's a handle from a gate or something from mm, horse carriage. Not sure. If the churches are in Denmark, anything like in Finland, then uh, uh, they should have had a marketplace outside the church every Sunday where they would have uh, bought and swapped and shared rumors what was going around in the country. So I will maybe stay a little while here before heading down to the chalice sector and see if they drop some gold coins while, while uh, bartering. I got a good feeling about this spot. Just ne next to the copper coin, I got something. This could be silver, guys. Could be old silver. Is it? Ah, uh, no. Oh, it's a coin, but I don't think it's silver. It's just bad quality. Some kind of Ure coin, nonetheless, but not silver. Ah, oh, damn. In my metal detecting career, I've dug uh, up hundreds, probably thousands of lead artifacts, bits of pieces, but never seen anything like that in this shape. Could it be a cross? Jesus cross? Not sure. Or a rune? It's made of lead. It has this very white distinct lead color. I am not sure what the purpose of that item is. Hmm, it has had some kind of function or symbolism. Cool. Is it a... Could it be a... cross? Maybe that way. Whoops, there it goes. Ah, this is a nice uh, spindle wheel, I think it is. Uh, Christian found it. They can be pretty old. Okay, look at what I have. I have no idea what it is. It looks so silvery. It looks so silvery. 
you can I have to put some water on it but I think this is silver or then a bottle cap but I hope silver I sure hope oh jeez it was I don't know a button or something oh, I already saw that old old viking silver coin but no I'm down here where the chalice was found I think it was probably somewhere around there and it's not so windy here sun came out a little bit and but what I really wanted to show you is that I have a screaming signal she is a screamer somewhere in there did I hit the tomb? I did not uh, let's see in this mud cake somewhere solid 24 oh, no ah wasn't the golden iron edge <sighs> dark neck dark celtic that i had been looking for but instead it's from a modern day warrior who has had a fight here with alcohol maybe a chalice Maybe another one. So we're gonna destroy it. Oh, it's big. It's moving. Oh my God! A hinge. It's a hinge from a door. Nice <laughs> treasure door. Was just gonna take a break, but then I got a signal. I thought it would be something shit. But now this this has to be silver. Has to be silver. Oh yes. What is this? Wow. 25 euro. One of these more modern. Finally, beautiful coin. Here comes the yellow vena. Y'all got the silver and uh, rocks. Fossils. Fossil? Eh. Ah, who cares uh, about that? But 25 Christian the 10th. Now King of Denmark. And it, the year was 1919. I think it was. Well, Silver is always yellow vena, so. It's a bit late, but maybe raise a toast for Christian the 10th. Yes, to Christian the 10th. Deeper, harder, scooter. What kind of... Wow, that's shiny! <laughs> but... Mm, modern. Ah, it's a blade of... Knife. It's a knife? Yeah. Stainless steel? Yep. Nice one, nice one. Made in France. Emil is yelling gold again, oh, crazy oh, guy! Crazy guy! Man! Is this your lucky day, Emmerhar? Just pulled it out 10 seconds ago. Uh, that's exactly almost the same Man. time like what you found last time. Ah, oh my god. Front of the gate, bishops come out, it drops golds and stuff, trades with the people, I don't know. Am I good? <laughs> Are people working good? Two golds one day. Exactly the same with the with a small, small hole. hole, small hole. Man, no, no hallmarks, no nothing. It's old. I don't know, hundreds of years. No idea. Two gold same day. Boom, boom, boom. 
Why have they dropped so much gold here in Denmark? Around the church. Oh, how I'm bad. Oh, clear gold. Yeah, that is beautiful. Is it a pendant? Is it what? Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Another gold. <laughs> it's similar to the first one. Also, it's a hole there. Yeah. Hold Somebody knows what these are for. Yeah. Maybe pendant. It's something with the church. Jesus, Samuel, stop it! Stop it already! <laughs> That's, That's the best I can do. Emil just hit double gold, but he's just taking pictures and I want to detect too. I want to find gold. It's for Instagram, for our fans. Ah. Oh man, I'm so happy now. Wow, second gold in one day. And I think I figured out what it is using my smart brain. Here's the first one we found earlier today. It might be show up in another video. Because we have so many good finds today. That one has some kind of red stone and maybe white ivory. That's not worth anything. Oh, that's yeah, real throw gold. them away. And you see both of them have a hole on the right side there. And I scratched my head and wondered and pondered. And I think you just put a thread to it and then line up a dozen of, dozen of those. And then you have a really, really cool looking necklace. I even think I've seen photos of that somewhere online years ago. But imagine if you have like 20 of those around your neck. And uh, we found one here, 100 meters from here. Imagine how many more there are lined up here somewhere. Whoa, on this field and the oil is of course there. Boom, 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 trying to get the rest. I love this field. I mean, I love this field. I love Denmark. Thank you, Danes. Whoa, true Vikings. Gold shot, hallelujah. Next to the holy church, holy gold, holy yellow vena. Legend from Finland. Now you could stop. You could stop now. Leave I some want, for me. I want one more. Now I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna no, find no. one over there. I'm gonna find one over there. I'm gonna find one over here. <laughs> Maybe even on the other side of the road. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I just found a copper coin. Emily is picking up gold, but I have to be happy for the things I get. And we found silver more than found. Yes, a small tenero from 1901. 1901. Ah, that's beautiful. 1901. Frederick the Eight. Frederick the Eight. Nice. We have to get the yellow vina bottle soon. Emil is still taking Instagram photos there for the <laughs> after that. <laughs> So what else did we have here? What was this one? You had a good story. <laughs> it was a choir boy beer opener. <laughs> <laughs> choir boy beer opener, right here. I need to get ah. one of those for me. <laughs> so Joel, I've been thinking a little bit here. We found two pieces of probably a gold pendant today. And how did they end up there? Well, imagine. The year is 1152 or something and uh, you started to worship the white Christ here in the church behind me and but you still remember those pagan traditions and it has been two years the crops harvest have gone terribly wrong you're in the church listening to the priest talking about forgiveness and stuff and your thumb is just uh, rumbling rumbling and you think what did my grandfather do in the Viking days? They were never hungry. Then you realize they sacrifice stuff. And oops, look, a gold pendant hanging around my around my neck. So we found the gold pendant things about 15-20 meters from this outer church.
stone wall. So I think someone walked around here and just threw, threw in the faces. A little bit in that field, a little bit in the next field, a little bit over there. And that way they covered the whole field and ensured that this year the harvest would be good. Right? Doesn't make well, any sense. Well, that was like five minutes, five minutes story. I didn't listen so much. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, tomorrow we're gonna be back here. And I, for one, is gonna be metal detecting about 10, 20 meters from the church wall because I think someone threw it from here while walking around. What All right. Mm. I would also say probably female weighing about 50, 55 kilos based on the distance. Yeah, just, just hit that subscribe button and but I'm, ring the bell I mean the and uh, see you in the next episode. We, we don't we, know it's the, gonna be great. We don't know the wind strength that day when they threw it there. So maybe it flew a little bit further away on the other side of the church. Let's make it 10 to 30 meters, right?